At what point did the people driving by say to themselves, you know what? We might want to stop and take a picture of that. Maybe put a stop to it because that mouse is the size of an elephant. What's up guys and welcome back to Tasty Planet Forever. Now in the first episode of this game, we had eaten all of Paris as a tiny robocat. And in the second episode, we ate all of the ocean as an upset octopus. And in both cases, I would have never expected this. Okay, there's no way to predict what is gonna happen in this game. So I'm not even gonna try, okay? All I know is that for this episode, we're gonna be a mouse and we're going to Africa where everything is doomed to be consumed. Some elephant migration routes are littered with landmines. Clearing landmines is a slow and dangerous task. Unless you're a highly drained mine sniffing rat. Do light to trigger landmines and with great sense of smell. These rats can quickly clear patches of land. Only the best are chosen. Hey, wait. Where'd that little round rat come from? So once again, I'm not a robo rat or a mutant rat or an alien rat. I'm just a rat. And apparently all rats can run around eating things and growing exponentially until they eventually consume all of existence. <laughs> I had no idea. I, I don't even have any motivation. Like last time the octopus was at least pissed off because of the pollution. My only motivation is that I'm fat and hungry. I refuse to believe it. Okay, there is no way that you get that thick naturally. <laughs> I have to be using thickness enhancing drugs or something like that, right? I'm a balloon with a tail. There is no way that this is supposed to happen in nature. <laughs> Whoa, oh, ew, no, 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 no. I don't like that, I don't like that. <laughs> Gross, okay, I'm not afraid of spiders, but at the same time, I don't want them touching me. The spiders, oh my god, the spiders are eating the mice? Are they mice? They're bigger than me, they're eating the mine sniffers. <laughs> they're so big that they're consuming mammals whole. I don't like this. You ever think that this guy might actually have motivation? Like, maybe he's not trying to get bigger. Maybe, maybe he's trying to get smaller. Maybe he's trying to get his revenge on the tarantulas. <laughs> I was going to say maybe he's trying to lose weight. Right? Like, all the rat ladies don't look at him the same way that they used to. So he went to his little rat doctor who, who told him to get lots of exercise and run around and have a steady diet of gerbils and poop beetles. <laughs> and it's just not working. He keeps gaining weight. Can't really say whether or not one of those things have ever hurt anybody, but... <laughs> oh, it's a pangolin! Oh, yeah, that, that's probably very chewy. <laughs> okay, Mr. Rat, you didn't reach your target weight, but you did good, so I give you uh, about uh, four-fifths of a star. That That's worth something, right? Moving on to the elephant of surprise. Am I finally gonna get a job? They were saying at the beginning that only the best are chosen. Clear the minefield of 70 mines before the elephants step on them. Oh no, I thought no <gasps> I'm sorry, okay, I can't I can't do this. I'm not ready. I didn't have training. I'm just a slow fat little rat. I thought I was eating CDs earlier. I thought it was just garbage in the ground. I didn't think there were landmines. Oh my god, there are so many elephants exploding. I'm sorry, hold on Dumbo, okay, I'm gonna clear the road. You guys just stick to the road, okay? Everybody stick to the road. There we go. You see, they have a specific path to take. Sorry. Stick to the path, you stupid pachyderms, and close your eyes, okay? Because I've been told that elephants never forget, and seeing your mom explode is probably something you would want to forget. I tried my best, okay? Moving on to stop. Tortoise time. Does that mean I'm gonna have to eat ugh, scorpions and turtles and why does everything have to have a shell and be crunchy or explosive? <laughs> None of this is on my diet. Do you have any idea how many calories are in a landmine? Because it's a lot. Is this some kind of weird scorpion parade? What is going on right now? There's so many of them and they're just walking in a straight line. I'm amazed I haven't been stung, okay? There's a whole lot of body to sting. I'm a pretty big target. These tortoises are just kind of minding their own business. I don't want to eat the man. They never cause anybody any trouble. They're too slow. 
<laughs> I can just bully them around. This is the tortoise and the hare all over again. I decided to reroute the scorpion parade into my mouth. And don't do this, okay? Don't just sit there and not move all day and eat. That is how he got into the situation that he's in, but he's eyeballing the greens. You know what? If you want to eat some greens, you can eat some greens. I I'm more than happy to help you with that. And we didn't even have to eat a tortoise, which is good. Because, I mean, let's be honest, it's like biting into a rock. The next level is called Don't Be a Cheetah, and I've never cheated on my diet, okay? I have no idea what you're talking- Oh great, we're starting off by eating tortoises, and yeah, those, those are cheetahs, those are cheetahs. Okay, maybe, maybe we should just use the speed boost, right? I may be fast, but I can still somehow outrun a cheetah? See ya, suckers! Well, they've decided to leave me alone. I guess my butt's too big to eat now? There will come a day where Butterball will get his revenge! And he'll eat your butt right back, and even an ostrich or two? Yeah, you know what? The hunter has become the hunted. I don't need my little Reese's Pieces tortoises anymore. Man, this guy's got a sprint. He has got some real moves. He's deceptively fast for being so freaking round. I just, I can't get over it. He looks like a sperm with ears. I am just gonna devour everything. There we go. That that should do it. There, that's what I'm talking about. That has to be worth a star. Really? Hunting hunters. Isn't that what I've been doing this entire time? I mean, I, I get that they're people. Oh! I've joined a lion pack, and we're attacking a town of poachers. Okay, good. Now it's morally acceptable. I'm the fattest, roundest little lion of the pack. Don't worry about it. They they accept me, right? Yeah, they're not going after me. We're going after these guys. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, I, I take a meal off the plate of the leader. The leader for now. Yeah, that's right. Butterball has aspirations now. He's going to climb up the food chain. He's going to be leader of the pack. He's going to get all the lionesses, and he's going to start off by eating some competition in a cheetah or two, right? We don't like fellow cats. I know I'm a rat, okay? It's close enough. It's only one letter off. Really strange that all of these poachers are armed, yet none of them are firing their guns. Guns are pretty good against animals, guys. I don't want to tell you how to do your job or anything like that. Oh, I get a lioness. Yeah, there we go. I didn't say that I wanted to mate with them. A meter and a half long and eating lions and cheetahs whole, I should be able to take down the alpha. Where is he? Just, he's running from me now, right? Pace me, you cowards! Where did he go? He's no, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is! Ah, it's the stuff. Now I'm the leader of the pack, and as the first order, everybody get in my tummy. Hey, were you guys gonna finish those buildings? Because I'm gonna finish the buildings, right? Yeah, these tents are just to die for. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. You don't get a lot of them out here, right? Especially when all the poachers are dead. The rat down in Africa. I gotta say, so far, each one of these levels have been one that I wanted to play. Usually I'll skip over the ones that seem really repetitive, but this has been a really interesting campaign so far. We're gonna start off with some pangolins. We got some, oh, okay, we got poachers running around, good to know. And some boars, I suppose? <laughs> We're getting a whole lot of the African wilderness now. I'm just down here eating grasses and shrubs like a peasant. Scratch that, scratch that. Okay, we got a poacher. Where did you guys come from? I thought we ate all of the poachers, right? We attacked the camp. We left no survivors. They keep popping back up. Now we can finally get some, hey, 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 stop that. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Rude. We eat the bushes, but I wanna get the boar. A warthog. I see. Okay, well, you know what? It, it tastes like boar, so it's all the same. Will you stop shooting me? Jeez, don't take my advice about guns so literally. At what point did the people driving by say to themselves, you know what, we might want to stop and take a picture of that. Maybe put a stop to it because that mouse is the size of an elephant. You may wonder why I saved these guys from the landmines to begin with. And it's because I knew I would be hungry. And now that I'm almost eight meters long, I should be able to eat some traffic. There we go. Maybe half a dozen giraffes. I just want to focus on the traffic. All right, can we, oh. Hello, town. Ooh, I'll take a couple planes. Now we're getting into the interesting stuff. 
<laughs> Moving on to Poacher City. Drink up makes me think that we are going to do the scummy thing of attacking animals at the water hole. Really? The water hole is like an unwritten piece, okay? You can see a lion and a zebra drinking right next to each other in real life because they know that you shouldn't do that. It's just gonna screw with everything. But then again, I guess I'm not all that natural, right? There is no balance to me. I'm not part of this ecosystem. I wanna eat the whole ecosystem. So is this like a weird game of duck, duck, goose? Or just running around eating anybody that's the right size? I'm really trying my best to hold back a butterball, okay? I'm trying to teach him that you need to be part of the animal kingdom, but then he sees a giant juicy zebra butt and he just can't help but eat it. <laughs> Gotta eat all those butts. I mean, that's what he's starting with, right? He starts at the butt, he works his way up to the head, and sooner than later, there's gonna be nothing left. I we get all the water. I suppose that's an advantage, right? Why couldn't you guys have sorted yourselves in order of size, right? Why do we all have to intermingle? This isn't Zootopia. We haven't seen rhinos before. I mean, we won't see them for long because now they're gone. I'm, I'm just doing my victory lap right now. <laughs> elephants. La oh, I left some elephants behind. I guess they're going to be dessert for later? Nope. I shouldn't have left them behind because now they're going to get the revenge. It's the revenge of the elephants. <laughs> Are they mad at me? Oh, 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 they're getting the revenge against the cars. Good for you guys. It was definitely the cars that ate everybody at the watering hole. Don't worry, elephants. Okay, I'm here to help. I'll smash some cars too. But first, I need to eat just a few zebras. Okay, just a couple. It's like Popeye's spinach, right? I just pop open a zebra or two. And then before you know it, I can hopefully eat a car. I could definitely sideswipe them. <laughs> I can't quite do as good of a job as an elephant. They don't explode, but I'm not all about exploding. I'm about consuming. Come on, man. How many zebras do you need to eat before you can eat a jeep? This should be a standardized thing in the world. There are not going to be many jeeps left at this rate. You're taking too long, Butterball. Get moving. In reality, it's a beautiful thing, right? A car runs over a zebra, and then an elephant runs over a car, and then I run over an elephant. It's just the, the circle of life. That's totally what they were singing about. Uh, they won't do much singing anymore now, though, because they're they're never gonna get home. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I lied. I lied. I, I'm I'm not here to help you. I'm I'm sorry. I wonder how many dentists there are in these cars that have paid thousands upon thousands of dollars to drive around and end up getting eaten by a rat. Next level is called Ready for Takeoff which makes me think people are trying to escape. They've realized that Africa has fallen to the rats and we can't let them get away. There's no going home to your dentist practice, okay? You're gonna be all mine soon enough. They're, they're really trying to get out of here. There's just a scramble happening. Come on, just let me be big enough to eat a plane. Just one little plane, is that so much to ask for? Come on, guys, it's not that bad, right? If anything, it's better inside of me. I got a great deal going on right now. You can have however much luggage you want, endless leg room, just constantly new and interesting things joining the trip. <laughs> this is just gonna be a much more interesting experience. Trust me about this. And in reality, you don't need to because you don't have any choice. <laughs> so we ate plenty of planes. We got that far, but can we go further? Final level brings us to Rats All, folks, which makes me think that, as usual, we're gonna start off right in the beginning. We're gonna be tiny, eating uh, plant matter and termites, but eventually we'll get to the point where we're eating cars and planes and then go even further beyond that. Really curious what could be more than that. I wanna eat a city, okay? I wanna roll through a city with my chubby little hands. Should we eat the poop? I don't know if we should eat poop. That poop is the same size as you and just as round. We ate the poop. Okay then. Are you feeling all right? You've been eating jeeps and planes and stuff like that. I'm, I'm sure a little dung ball is fine. When you're in the panic of running around eating binoculars and stuff like that, you don't realize the squish that the tarantula makes when you bite into it. I don't like that. <laughs> That's not pleasant at all. They're probably getting squished underneath my giant feet now, but I can't see them. So we've moved up to the larger mammals. <laughs> and more bushes, of course. You can never have too many greens in your diet, especially if you're sprinting around like this all the time, right? You can only imagine what your poops look like. 
I keep hearing gunfire and screaming as I eat these warhogs, so I get the feeling there are some poachers somewhere that aren't having a great time. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, he was about to get shot. I just took a bullet in the face for him. You'd think he'd be grateful, but uh, he was too busy getting chewed up by me. <laughs> so we're back to the traffic. Okay, well, that that's perfectly fine. You know what? I can sort things out here quickly enough. I'm seeing a whole lot of grass. And not a whole lot of anything else. <laughs> it's mildly concerning, because it's like I said, you can't just eat and eat and eat, right? You're just gonna consume the entire ecosystem rather than be part of it. You need to have a balance. And I don't mean like a balanced diet of zebras and lions and warthogs. <laughs> and giraffes, of course. Yeah, giraffes for lunch, dessert, and dinner, and everything like that. I, I just want the jeeps, right? I just want to eat the people. I really have no quarrel with all of these animals other than the fact that they're yummy. Giraffe or two might put me over the edge. There we go. Okay, we're getting close. I can eat the baby elephants. <laughs> oh no, I can only eat the little ones. Ow! Apparently the cars still hurt me. What? I would do more damage to a car. I'm like four meters long. I have to be the size of eating a car now, right? How am I? Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the stuff. <laughs> Perfect. Yum, yum. I can even get all of these delicious fences. Right, you guys won't need that to keep me out soon enough. Just you wait. I would assume that we're gonna attack this compound next and eat all of the planes before people try to escape. We can have a few planes now. We can have a whole lot of planes now and some more fencing. Oh, this is like an entire town, right? They have uh, swimming pools for some reason. Why do they have swimming pools? Oh my God, look at all the elephants. <laughs> the little tiny elephants. <laughs> okay, if I can eat the buildings, I'll be pretty satisfied. How about that? Because right now, elephants are just a speck on the landscape. I can probably be seen from space at this point. Oh yeah, it's happening. <laughs> Is it just this one little town? Thatch Resort. Oh, so it wasn't even poachers. It was like some fancy pants resort that I just completely obliterated. That's it? I didn't get to eat the whole continent or anything like that. I just ate this one crappy little resort of the same buildings. Oh, that's disappointing. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Tasty Planet Forever, guys. And I'm starting to see a trend that we don't get as big as I would like to get. Because with the Grey Goo in the old Tasty Planet games, you would go way beyond buildings. Like, it would get to the point where you were eating, like, mountains and lakes and then entire continents and then planets and stuff like that. And I know that might not be realistic for a mouse, but neither is eating an entire thatch hut, so I don't really care. I want to get bigger. <gasps> Hopefully, in the following campaigns, we will be. And if you guys would like to see the bee, then be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll be sure to keep playing. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Video.